Hey there, plant enthusiasts. Are you tired of the same old garden variety plants? Well, get ready to have your minds blown because today we're going to take a look at 15 of the strangest and most fascinating plants on the planet. These plants come in all shapes and sizes, and some of them even have peculiar ways of catching their prey. Some of them are so strange, they almost seem like they belong in a sci-fi movie. However, before we delve into the list, allow me to tickle your funny bone with a witty quip. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. But in all seriousness, these plants are truly fascinating and each one has its own unique story to tell. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of 15 strange types of plants. Venus flytrap or DNA emulsipula. The Venus flytrap, also known as DNA emulsipula, is a carnivorous plant that is native to the wetlands and bogs of North and South Carolina in the United States. This fascinating plant is known for its unique ability to catch and digest insects for nutrients and has captivated plant enthusiasts for centuries. The Venus flytrap grows in nutrient-poor soil, which is why it has adapted to catch insects for sustenance. The plant has a unique growing style, with two or more leaves that grow from a central point, forming a rosette. Each leaf has a flattened, oval-shaped blade with a hinged trap at the end, which is lined with trigger hair. When an insect touches the trigger hairs, the trap snaps shut in less than a second, trapping the insect inside. The trap then begins to secrete digestive enzymes that break down the insect's body, allowing the plant to absorb the nutrients it needs. This unique ability to capture and digest prey is what makes the Venus flytrap so fascinating and special. The Venus flytrap is a small plant that typically grows up to 5 inches in diameter, but can sometimes reach up to 8 inches. Despite its small size, the Venus flytrap is a formidable predator, capable of catching insects that are twice its size. One of the most unique things about the Venus flytrap is its odor. It produces a sweet scent that is irresistible to insects, which is what lures them in. The plant also has a unique appearance with its bright green leaves and dramatic trap jaw. While the Venus flytrap may seem scary to some people, it is completely harmless to humans. In fact, it is a popular house plant and is easy to care for as long as it is kept in a humid environment and provided with plenty of sunlight. In terms of propagation, the Venus flytrap produces small white flowers on a long stem in the spring, which can then develop into small black seed-filled capsules. These capsules can be harvested and used to grow new plants. Pitcher plant or Nepenthes SPP. Nepenthes SPP, also known as the pitcher plant, is a type of carnivorous plant that grows in tropical and subtropical regions across the globe. This peculiar plant has evolved to flourish in nutrient for soils by preying on insects and other small creatures. The pitcher plant grows in a distinctive manner with long, slender stems that can either climb or trail. Its leaves are adapted into a pitcher-shaped trap filled with alluring nectar that tempts insects inside. Once trapped, the insect is digested by enzymes excreted by the plant, providing the plant with essential nutrients that it cannot obtain from the soil. The size of the pitcher plant varies depending on the species, ranging from small, compact plants to sprawling vines that can reach up to 10 feet in length. This unique plant is a great addition to any garden or plant collection, adding a touch of exotic beauty and a fascinating conversation piece. The most intriguing aspect of the pitcher plant is its odor, which emanates from the plant's nectar and attracts unsuspecting insects from afar, making it an effective predator. The scent is so enticing that it can attract insects in droves, leading to a banquet for the plant. Despite its carnivorous tendencies, the pitcher plant is entirely harmless to humans and even serves as natural insect control in homes as a popular house plant. When it comes to spreading its beauty, the pitcher plant bears dainty flowers that bloom in a range of shades, varying from species to species. From these blooms emerge seeds that can be collected and utilized to propagate and cultivate new plants, continuing the cycle of life and beauty. Overall, the pitcher plant is a curious and exceptional plant that is adapted to its surroundings by consuming insects to obtain vital nutrients. Its sweet-smelling nectar, striking size, and unique growth style make it a remarkable and distinctive addition to any plant enthusiast's collection. Sea Urchin Cactus or Echinopsis SPP The Sea Urchin Cactus, also known as Echinopsis SPP, is a unique cactus that gets its name from its uncanny resemblance to a sea urchin. 
This fascinating plant is native to South America and is found in the arid regions of Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, and Peru. The sea urchin cactus has a unique growing style with short, round stems that are covered in clusters of spines that resemble sea urchin spines. These spines range in color from yellow to brown and provide the plant with protection from predators. The cactus can grow up to 12 inches in height and 8 inches in diameter, making it a perfect choice for a tabletop display or as part of a cactus garden. One of the most unique features of the sea urchin cactus is its blooms. The plant produces large, trumpet-shaped flowers that can be up to 15 centimeters in diameter. These flowers bloom in a variety of colors, including pink, yellow, and white, and their fragrance is sweet and alluring. The flowers only last for a few days, but are worth the wait, and they make the cactus even more unique. The sea urchin cactus may look scary with its spiny exterior, but it is harmless to humans. It is an easy care plant that is perfect for those who are new to cactus growing. It requires bright, indirect light and well-draining soil, and it is drought tolerant, making it an excellent choice for those who live in arid climate. One of the most interesting things about the sea urchin cactus is its ability to reproduce. It produces offsets, which are smaller versions of the mother plant that grow around the base. These offsets can be removed and planted in their containers, which is a great way to expand your collection or share the plant with friends. Overall, the sea urchin cactus is a unique and interesting plant that is perfect for those who are looking for a conversation starter. Its spiny exterior, large blooms, and ease of care make it an excellent choice for both indoor and outdoor growing. Hanging butterwort or pinguiculus pp. Hanging butterwort, scientifically known as Pinguicula SPP, is a fascinating carnivorous plant that thrives in wet, humid environments. This plant gets its name from the sticky, buttery substance that covers its leaves, which traps and digests insects. Hanging butterwort grows in a unique style with rosettes of small, green, and sticky leaves that grow in a haphazard fashion. These rosettes are often mistaken for flowers and can be found hanging from rocky cliffs and wet meadows in mountainous regions. One of the most unique things about this plant is that it produces delicate, beautiful purple flowers that contrast with the green leaves. The flowers are usually short-lived, but when they bloom, they make a stunning display. In terms of size, the hanging butterwort can range from small, compact plants to larger, sprawling specimens. The leaves are relatively small, but they are densely packed on the plant, making it an efficient predator of small insects. The odor of hanging butterwort is not particularly potent or noticeable, as it relies mainly on its sticky leaves to trap insects. Although it may not have a strong scent, its beautiful purple flowers are an excellent way to attract pollinators. While it may seem scary to some, hanging butterwort is entirely harmless to humans and is an excellent addition to any carnivorous plant collection. In terms of propagation, this plant produces small, delicate seeds that can be sown in wet soil to grow new plants. Hanging butterwort is a beautiful, fascinating plant with unique adaptations that help it thrive in wet environments. Its sticky, buttery leaves and stunning purple flowers make it a must-have for any carnivorous plant enthusiast. Starfish flower, or Stapelius pp. The starfish flower, or Stapelia spp, is a unique and intriguing plant that is native to South Africa. This unusual plant is a member of the milkweed family, and it is known for its unique star-shaped flowers that resemble a starfish. The starfish flower grows in a unique style, with sprawling stems that can reach up to 12 inches in length. These stems have clusters of small, fleshy leaves that are covered in tiny hair. The plant produces large, striking flowers that can grow up to 12 inches in diameter, and they emit a strong, unpleasant odor that is often compared to the smell of rotting flesh. One of the most fascinating things about the starfish flower is its odor. The strong, unpleasant smell is actually an adaptation that has evolved to attract pollinators, such as flies and carrion beetle. These insects are attracted to the odor and become trapped inside the flower, where they are covered in pollen and can then transfer it to other flowers. 
The starfish flower can be a scary plant for some people due to its unusual appearance and foul odor, but it is harmless to humans. It is often grown as an ornamental plant in gardens and as a house plant, and its unique and intriguing appearance makes it a popular addition to plant collection. In terms of propagation, the starfish flower produces small seeds that can be collected and used to grow new plants. The plant can also be propagated by cuttings, which can be rooted in soil or water. The starfish flower is a strange and fascinating plant that has evolved to attract pollinators with its foul odor. Its large, star-shaped flowers and unique appearance make it a standout in any garden or plant collection. Silver Vase or Ashmi SPP The Silver Vase, or a Ashmi SPP, is a beautiful and unique plant that is native to the rainforests of Central and South America. It is a member of the Bromeliad family and is known for its stunning silver-gray foliage and striking inflorescence. The Silver Vase has a unique growing style that sets it apart from other plants. It grows in a rosette shape with long, narrow leaves that curve upwards and form a vase, like shape in the center. The plant can grow up to two feet tall and two feet wide, making it a substantial addition to any garden or indoor plant collection. One of the most striking features of the silver vase is its beautiful inflorescence. The plant produces a tall, upright spike that can grow up to a foot tall and is covered in small, purple flowers. The flowers have a sweet, fruity scent that is most noticeable at night and attracts pollinators such as moths and butterflies. The silver vase is not a scary or dangerous plant, but its unusual appearance can be quite striking. Its unique architectural shape and silver-gray color make it a popular choice for modern and contemporary gardens and indoor spaces. When it comes to reproduction, the silver vase plant produces offspring or offsets, which sprout at the plant's bottom. These can be separated from the mother plant and grown in their own containers to give rise to new plants. One of the special things about the silver vase is that it is a low-maintenance plant that is easy to care for. It thrives in bright, indirect light and should be watered only when the soil is dry to the touch. It is also tolerant of a wide range of temperatures and can be grown indoors or outdoors. The silver vase is a stunning and unique plant that is sure to add a touch of elegance and beauty to any garden or indoor space. Its striking foliage and beautiful flowers make it a popular choice for plant enthusiasts and gardeners alike. Firecracker plant or Rosalia equiseperformis. The firecracker plant, also known as Rosalia equiseperformis, is a vibrant and show-stopping plant that adds a unique touch to any garden or landscape. With its stunning display of fiery red blooms and delicate foliage, this plant is sure to capture attention. The firecracker plant grows in a cascading or trailing style with long, slender stems that can reach up to three to four feet in length. This makes it an excellent choice for hanging baskets, containers, or as ground cover. It thrives in warm, humid climates and is native to Central and South America, although it can be grown in other regions as well. The firecracker plant produces small, tubular flowers that are a bright red or orange color, resembling exploding fireworks. The blooms have a slight fragrance which attracts hummingbirds and other pollinators to the plant. It is a hardy plant that requires little maintenance, making it an excellent choice for those who want a beautiful and low-maintenance addition to their garden. One of the most unique things about the firecracker plant is its appearance. The long, thin stems and delicate foliage give it a delicate, wispy appearance. When the plant blooms, it transforms into a stunning display of vibrant color, resembling a fireworks display. It's a sight to behold and a true testament to the beauty of nature. While the firecracker plant is not scary, it certainly makes a bold statement in any garden or landscape. Its striking appearance and unique growing style make it a popular choice for those looking to add a touch of drama to their outdoor space. The firecracker plant is a mesmerizing and exceptional botanical specimen to enhance the charm of your garden or landscape. Its flamboyant blossoms, graceful foliage, and trailing growth pattern are bound to mesmerize and add a touch of allure and theatrical elegance to any outdoor haven. Chinese money plant or Palea peperomioid the Chinese money plant, also known as Palea peperomioides, is a unique and visually appealing plant that is native to the Yunnan province in China. It has become a popular house plant due to its charming circular leaves and ease of care. 
the Chinese money plant grows in an upright manner with long petioles and large round leaves that are somewhat translucent. The plant has a natural tendency to grow in a symmetrical pattern, giving it an aesthetically pleasing appearance. It also produces small, delicate flowers that bloom in the spring and summer months. The size of the Chinese money plant is relatively small, with an average height of about 12 inches. However, it has a tendency to spread outward through its offspring known as pops, which sprout from the base of the plant and can be separated and propagated. One of the most unique things about the Chinese money plant is its odor. While many plants have a distinct fragrance, the Chinese money plant is nearly odorless, making it a great choice for those who are sensitive to scents. The Chinese money plant is not at all scary, but it is known for its ability to bring good luck and financial prosperity to those who grow it. In Chinese culture, it is believed that placing a coin in the soil of the plant pot will increase its money, attracting power. The Chinese money plant has a strange and fascinating way of producing new plants. As mentioned before, it spawns pups which grow from the base of the plant and can be separated and propagated. Additionally, the Chinese money plant has an interesting habit of turning its leaves towards the light, allowing it to capture as much sunlight as possible. Overall, the Chinese money plant is a visually stunning and fascinating plant that is easy to care for and can bring good luck to those who grow it. Its unique growth patterns, lack of odor, and interesting propagation methods make it a popular choice among plant enthusiasts. Black Bat Flower, or Taka Chantrieri. The black bat flower, scientifically known as Taka Chantrieri, is an unusual and captivating plant that is native to the rainforests of Southeast Asia. This stunning plant has a distinctive shape and appearance that sets it apart from other flowers. The black bat flower grows in a unique and unusual style. It has long, slender stems that rise up from the soil with large, deep green leaves that create a lush backdrop for the flowers. The flowers themselves are the real show, stoppers with long twisted petals that resemble the wings of a bat, hence its name. This plant typically grows in shaded and humid areas such as the forest floor where it can reach up to three feet in height. It thrives in tropical and subtropical climates and is often found in areas with high humidity such as rainforest. The black bat flower produces small, black seeds that can be used to propagate new plants. The flowers also produce tiny bulbets, which can be planted to create new plant clones. In terms of size, the black bat flower can grow up to 30 centimeters in diameter, making it a standout addition to any garden or collection. Despite its spooky appearance, the black bat flower is not scary and is completely harmless to humans and animals. One of the most unique things about the black bat flower is its scent. The flowers produce a strong, musky odor that is often described as unpleasant or odd, but can be appealing to some individuals. The black bat flower is known for its striking appearance, making it a popular choice for gardeners and collectors. Its unique and strange shape makes it a conversation starter and a fascinating addition to any plant collection. Devil's Backbone, or Calancho Diagramontiana. The Devil's Backbone also known as Calancho diagramontiana, is a striking succulent that belongs to the Crassulaceae family. It is a unique plant that is native to Madagascar and has become a popular houseplant due to its distinct appearance and low maintenance requirements. The growing style of the Devil's Backbone is characterized by its thick, fleshy, and serrated leaves that grow opposite each other in a zigzag pattern, forming an intricate chain-like structure. The plant can grow up to three feet tall and two feet wide, making it an impressive addition to any collection. The devil's backbone reproduces through its unique spawn, which is a series of small plantlets that grow along the edges of the serrated leaves. These plantlets can be carefully removed and replanted, allowing the plant to propagate quickly and easily. One of the most striking features of the devil's backbone is its unusual appearance, which has been compared to the spine of a dragon or the horns of a devil. This unique appearance, combined with the plant's ability to produce small plantlets, has led to the plant being associated with dark and mysterious themes. Although the devil's backbone may seem scary due to its unusual appearance, it is completely harmless to humans and pets. In fact, the plant has a number of medicinal properties and has been used in traditional medicine to treat a range of ailments. The devil's backbone has a neutral odor and is not particularly fragrant. However, 
It is a popular plant for its striking appearance and low maintenance requirements, making it a favorite of plant enthusiasts and beginners alike. Devil's Backbone is a fascinating and unique plant that is easy to care for and adds a touch of exotic charm to any space. Its striking appearance, unique propagation, and medicinal properties make it a valuable addition to any collection. Donkey's Tail or Sedum Morganianum Donkey's Tail, scientifically known as Sedum Morganianum, is a unique and interesting succulent plant that is native to Mexico and Honduras. Its unique growing style and appearance make it a popular addition to any collection. The plant grows in a trailing or hanging style, with its stems cascading down from its pot or container. The stems can reach a length of up to two to three feet, with a width of about one inch. Its leaves are narrow, elongated, and green in color, with a slightly bluish tint. When exposed to full sun, the plant may produce a red margin on its leaves, giving it a beautiful contrast. Donkey's tail is known for its ability to produce spawns, or small plantlets, along its trailing stems. These plantlets can easily be propagated to create new plants, making them excellent plants for sharing with others. In terms of size, donkey's tail can grow to be quite long, but the plant's stem remains relatively thin, giving it a delicate appearance. Despite its delicate appearance, this plant is incredibly hardy and requires little maintenance making it a popular choice for those looking for a low-maintenance plant. The plant has no distinct odor and is not considered scary, strange, or dangerous in any way. In fact, its unique appearance and growing style make it a fascinating and charming addition to any room. One of the most special things about Donkey's Tail is the visual appeal it provides. Its unique trailing stems and elongated leaves give it a distinctive look that is hard to find in other plants. Its delicate yet hardy nature and the ability to produce new plants from its spawn make it a popular choice for any plant enthusiast. Overall, Donkey's Tail is a charming and unique succulent plant that offers a visually stunning addition to any collection. With its unique growth habit and propagation method, it's easy to care for, making it a great option for beginners, and its unique beauty will undoubtedly captivate plant enthusiasts of all levels. Flaming Katie or Calancho Blosfeldiana. Flaming Katie, also known as Calancho Blosfeldiana, is a beautiful succulent that's popular for its long-lasting and vibrant blooms. This flowering plant is native to Madagascar and thrives in warm, arid environments with well-draining soil. The Flaming Katie has a unique growing style with a compact and bushy growth habit. It typically grows up to 12 inches tall and wide with glossy green leaves that form a rosette. The leaves are thick and fleshy, helping the plant to store water and withstand periods of drought. The plant's spawns are small plantlets that emerge from the base of the stem and can be propagated to create new plants. Flaming Katie blooms come in a range of vibrant colors, including red, orange, pink, yellow, and white. The flowers are typically small, with four petals arranged in a star shape. The plant's odor is generally mild and pleasant, but some people find the fragrance to be overpowering. However, the plant is not considered scary or dangerous. One of the unique features of the Flaming Katie is that it is a short day plant, which means it requires long periods of darkness to trigger the blooming process. This makes it an excellent choice for indoor gardening, as it can be easily manipulated to bloom during specific seasons. Flaming Katie is often used as a houseplant, and it can thrive in a range of conditions. It prefers bright, indirect sunlight and well-draining soil. With proper care, Flaming Katie can bloom for several months, making it an excellent addition to any indoor garden. The Flaming Katie is a beautiful and unique succulent that thrives in arid environments. Its vibrant blooms and compact growth habit make it an excellent choice for indoor gardening, and its ability to bloom during specific seasons adds to its appeal. While its odor can be overpowering for some, it is generally not considered a scary or dangerous plant. English Ivy or Hetera Helix English Ivy, scientifically known as Hetera Helix, is a popular climbing plant with unique characteristics. It is an evergreen plant that belongs to the Aureliaceae family and is native to Europe, Western Asia, and North Africa. The plant grows in various shapes, sizes, and colors depending on the variety. English ivy is a climbing plant with aerial roots that grip onto surfaces and help the plant grow vertically. 
Its leaves are glossy and dark green, which provides an eye, catching contrast when planted against light, colored surfaces. English ivy also produces small, inconspicuous flowers in the fall and winter, which eventually give way to small, black fruits. This plant is a versatile grower and can be planted in a variety of settings. It can be grown in outdoor spaces, such as gardens, walls, and trellises, or indoors as a hanging plant or potted plant. English ivy prefers partial to full shade and well-drained soil. English ivy's spawning processes through seed propagation or stem cuttings, which can be easily propagated in soil or water. The plant can grow up to 100 feet long in the wild, while the cultivated plants may range from 6 inches to 50 feet in length. English ivy's odor is very mild and not typically noticeable unless it's crushed or bruised. However, the plant is known to purify the air, making it an ideal choice for indoor spaces, English ivy is not known to be scary or strange, but it has some special properties that make it a sought-after houseplant. It is known for its air-purifying abilities, removing toxins such as formaldehyde, benzene, and trichloroethylene from the air. It is also believed to help reduce mold and mildew, making it a popular plant for individuals who suffer from allergies. English ivy is an attractive and versatile plant that can grow in various settings, produce small flowers, and purify the air. It is an ideal choice for those looking for a low-maintenance and air, urifying houseplant that adds aesthetic value to their living space. Bird of Paradise or Strelitzia regina. The Bird of Paradise, scientifically known as Strelitzia regina, is a tropical plant that hails from South Africa. It is a unique plant with a distinctive appearance that resembles a bird in flight, making it a popular ornamental plant for gardens and indoor spaces alike. The Bird of Paradise is a relatively slow-growing plant that can reach up to six feet tall and can spread up to three feet wide, with broad, paddle-shaped leaves that grow in an alternating pattern. Its stunning flowers emerge on long stalks resembling a bird's beak and crest of feathers, and range in color from bright orange and yellow to blue and white, depending on the variety. This exotic beauty is best grown in full sun and can thrive in both indoor and outdoor environments. In the wild, it grows in large clumps near riverbanks or in open fields, while in cultivation it prefers well-draining soil and consistent moisture. The bird of paradise is a hardy plant that requires little maintenance once established. Its blooms, which resemble exotic tropical birds, last for weeks and can be cut and enjoyed as cut flowers and bouquets. While not inherently scary or dangerous, it's worth noting that the leaves of the bird of paradise are toxic if ingested, so it's important to keep them away from pets and children. One unique feature of this plant is that it has a special mechanism to ensure the transfer of pollen. Its flowers are pollinated by birds, and the plant's petals are fused into a tube, like shape that only allows a bird with a long beak to access its nectar, which helps to ensure cross-pollination. In conclusion, the Bird of Paradise is a stunning and exotic plant that adds a touch of the tropics to any environment. Its unique appearance, hardiness, and low maintenance make it an excellent choice for both experienced and novice gardeners alike. Zebra Plant or Calathea Zebrina the zebra plant, also known as Calathea zebrina, is an exotic tropical plant that is popular among houseplant enthusiasts for its unique striped foliage. It is native to the rainforests of Brazil where it grows as an underbrush plant in shaded areas. The zebra plant is known for its upright, clumping growth habit and its striking foliage. The leaves are long and narrow with a bold zebra-like pattern of green stripes on a deep purple background. The undersides of the leaves are a rich, reddish-purple color. The plant typically grows to about two feet tall, and its width can be up to a foot and a half. One of the special things about the zebra plant is that it is known for its ability to move its leaves. At night, the leaves fold up, which is thought to help protect the plant from the cool night. Time temperatures. During the day, the leaves unfurl, revealing their beautiful stripes. Another unique feature of the zebra plant is its ability to purify the air. It has been found to remove toxins such as formaldehyde and benzene from the air, making it a great addition to any indoor environment. 
The zebra plant is not known for having any particularly strong odor, and it is not considered to be a scary or strange plant. It can be a bit temperamental in terms of its growing conditions, requiring high humidity, consistent moisture, and filtered light. It is not a particularly fast-growing plant, but with the right care, it can be a long-lived and rewarding addition to any indoor plant collection. In terms of propagation, the zebra plant can be divided and repotted or grown from stem cuttings. It is a relatively easy plant to care for, making it a great choice for both novice and experienced plant enthusiasts looking to add a touch of the tropics to their homes. As we come to the end of our journey through the strange and unusual world of plants, it's clear that nature always has a few tricks up her sleeve. We hope you enjoyed this video on 15 strange types of plants. We've seen some incredible specimens today, from DNA Mosipula to Calathea zebrina. Whether you're a seasoned plant enthusiast or simply someone who appreciates the weird and wonderful, we hope this video has opened your eyes to the endless possibilities of the natural world. Who knows what other strange and fascinating plants are out there waiting to be discovered? So let's embrace the oddities of the plant kingdom and remember that sometimes the most interesting things in life are the ones that don't quite fit the mold. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to exploring more strange and fascinating plants with you in the future.